about ready for baseball on MLB Network as you get a look at beautiful Yankee Stadium in Bronx, New York. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the Oakland A's and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Masahiro Tanaka will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan act what's the word on it? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Ready now, Coco Sullivan, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, nothing better than winning that last game at home before you go on a long road trip. They have the opportunity to do that today. Let's see if they get it done. No doubt about it, Dero. They're, they're looking to embark on an eight-game road trip. First things first, win this one here. Worry about getting on that bird for eight games after this one here today. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Dero, what's your take on this team today? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's hitless in three at bats. 65 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. What a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Piscotti, a California born ball player, he was a first round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Batting third, second baseman, Marcus Semien. At the plate, Marcus Semien. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. The bouncer to the left side. Espinosa's there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Kendall Graveman, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. It's official now. They will not go 162 and 0 as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Brandon Drury is looking to turn it around right now. Looking at the last game, it was 0 for 3, but it was the way he went about that 0 for 3. He didn't look very aggressive, and actually, he looked kind of lost to me. I'm wanting to see a different player in that batter's box today. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. A 
Spencer up the middle. And Lowry won't be able to track it down. This gets through a base hit. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter came through right there with a single. Set the table for the big hit. So striding forward now, Gary Sanchez. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. And it's fouled away. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. One and two to the Yankees catcher. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Here's big Aaron Judd. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Nope, that's a ball. So two balls and two strikes now. Perias, the runner at first with two gone. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Yanks lead one. We are still scoreless. Here's Chris Davis now in past meetings with Tanaka just a one for 12 career line seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch and the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball it's one and oh. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. Hot shot down the line. Rory loves it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And let's focus our attention on outfielder Jacoby Ellsbury. His calling card is speed, first step quickness, the ability to get out of a box, the ability to have great reads. What you will look for today is guys will test his arm. Look for him to have to make a big throw to nail someone at third base or at home plate. First pitch coming, here it is. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. No score here as we play inning number two. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Let's see what they throw Olsen on a three and one count. Popped him up. Drury is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Right fielder, Matt Jordan. 
Alonso striding in. Matt Joyce as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Bullet back up the middle. Ellsbury will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. The DH, Giancarlo Stanton, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. Hey, guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Here comes the first pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Just hung in there on that one. Got him. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Here's Brett Gardner now. And this is fouled at the plate. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Fowler is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And move to the third with no score. Here's Jed Lowry now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner is there, one down. So one gone now as you get a look there at where the Yankees stand currently in the American League East. Here's the German-born catcher Bruce Maxwell. Coming into this one, he's carrying a rather substantial batting average up in the 330s. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Line toward right center. And there's the first hit of the game for the A's. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. 
Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside, fighting it off for a nice base hit. Up next, the speedy outfielder Dustin Fowler as he lines it out to center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. How about it? Third baseman, Coco Sullivan. Striding in for Oakland, Coco Sullivan, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Oakland. Home half of the third coming up. No score. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. Ball chop foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing in two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Into the box, Danny Espinoza. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Popped him up. Sullivan in foul ground. And he brings it in on the warning track. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Two away in the inning, and then it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Fowler's under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. So this will be taken in at second base with positioning for the first down. Stepping up to the plate, Marcus Semyon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. After it is Ellsbury. Around first, digging for two. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. And as you see right there, this streak will continue as he inches forward up the all-time list. Hey, not an easy thing to do, d -Row. Think about this. He's in the 30s right now. He's basically gone like four weeks when he's gone to bed every night and he, he probably sleeps pretty comfortably knowing that he got a base hit in every game. Oh man, his dinner tastes better, his wife got prettier. Without question, this is a month they'll never forget. And my gracious, that really drilled him as it rolls toward the first baseline. Recovery throw is not in time and that'll go down as a painful single. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, And they're runners at the corners now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hard liner to center field. Here's the catch by Ellsbury as the runner tags at third. And the run will score as the A's get off to a 1-0 lead. 
Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Here's Matt Joyce now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Career homer number 149. And the A's lead it now 3 to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Stepping in now, Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center, heading after it is Judge. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3-0 Oakland. Leading off the inning, Ronald Torres. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get off on the plate, something. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When it left his bat, I thought it might score foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Now in the box, Gary Sanchez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Here's a strike. Torres leads off second with nobody out. Takes this the other way to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he is in there. Here's big Aaron Judd. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. On the year, Judge is exactly a 220 hitter, so he'll look to improve on that if he can a little bit here. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. So it was a strikeout looking there. Aaron Judge becomes out number two this inning. Giancarlo Stanton now, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Popped him up. Sullivan is there. And the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They trail in this one 3 0. Here's the German-born catcher Bruce Maxwell. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit. 
or if he's able to put this behind him. Lifted the other way to left center. Gardner is there, and that's the first out of the inning. Up next, the speedy outfielder Dustin Fowler. First delivery to him on the way. Shot toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Coco Sullivan. Riding in once again, Coco Sullivan. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Gardner coasts under it. And that's the third out. A's are gone in order, but they lead it 3 nothing. Brandon Drury will bat next. He'll start things out here in the Maybe home fifth, the and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. So one one. Skied into straightaway right. Joyce is there. He's got it one away. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's Brett Gardner now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air out to center field. Fowler's under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. First baseman, number 33, Greg Bird. So stepping in, Greg Bird looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Just a tick behind for a strike. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here's the pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, 1 and 2. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Count even at two and two. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail it here, three to nothing. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, number ten, second baseman, Marcus. Standing in, Marcus Semyon, who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Knee high slider that he takes a look at.
lifted in the air out to right. Judge is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for Oakland, left fielder. Chris. Coming to the plate now, Chris Davis. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Belted high and deep into right center. Ellsbury going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. the power hitter Matt Olson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair it's gone and gone right down the line the other way. Wow. Matt Olson connects for a two run home run number 14 on the season and the A's add on more it's now a five nothing game. I know height sights 2020 but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget he homered yesterday so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Matt Joyce will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielder. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the A's five and the Yankees nothing. Now at the plate, Danny Espinosa. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Fowler racing back. He gets to it, and oh, he botched it. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Ichiro Suzuki come into the ball game now as he'll take over in center following the injury. Number 51. So coming to the plate, Jacoby Ellsbury. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. Very weakly on the ground. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Late that time for a strike. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Davis is after it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they're going to get on the board here with the sack fly, but there's still work to be done down 5 to 1. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple, and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Ready for another chance? Ronald Torres. 
He'll try to follow up the double in his... Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A knee-high sinker. Tough pitch. Strike one. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready on one and two. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. In now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And it's 0 and 2 to Sanchez. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. The A's lead this one 5 to 1. Back here in the Bronx, the A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Adam Warren is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Digging in, Jed Lowry over two here to start the afternoon. Jed Lowry. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground is short. Espinosa's up with it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, Catherine. Striding into the box, Bruce Maxwell. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to short. Espinosa's there. And quickly, there are two away. Now batting, the center fielder, Ichiro Suzuki. Here's Ichiro now. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On the ground, up the middle. And Ichiro's got himself a base hit. Now batting. Third base. Coco. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Coco Sullivan. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First delivery to him on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Perez gloves it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Down go the Athletics on a total of four pitches. They're up five to one. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. Do up for the four, five, and six hitters and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. No balls in one strike. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Count still at one and two. Oh. 
neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Another one two delivery. Ball two. two balls and two strikes now. Well this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Two two pitches fouled away. Left side of the infield into the shift. And Lowry won't be able to track it down. This gets through a base hit. Hey, after starting the game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single had to feel good. Right? Now, nice piece of hit. Designated hitter, John Carlos Tanfan. Late now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. A swing and a miss hit a ball well off the plate. You can't allow this offense to get going right here. Leadoff man on doesn't kill us. Let's try and roll a double play right here. Let's execute a good pitch down and away. See if we can get a ground ball and rely on your defense a little bit. Up next for the Yankees. Stepping into the box, Brendan Rory. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. Popped him up. Semyon moving to his left. Two down. into the box Brett Gardner he's hitless in his two at bats so far he's set and the pitch and he misses inside with that one ball one judge here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon so his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out there, no doubt. Your attention, please. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. laid off for ball two. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes with a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up on a 2-0 count. There's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first baseline. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Back up the middle, taken in by Simeon. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. A's bullpen does its job. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the A's five and the Yankees one. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible. But this very he dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Standing in now, Marcus Semyon. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. 
Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Here's Chris Davis now. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. 34 home runs now on the year, as it's now a six-run ball game. That wasn't a particularly deep home run by today's standards, but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry. You see there on show track, an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat. Matt Olson will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. One out, nobody on. Strike. Pulled toward right center field. Judge is under it. And he flings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Matt Joyce now. Now pitch on the way. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie gone all the way into the upper deck. A solo home run there for Matt Joyce, giving him an even 150, as this is now a seven run ball game. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Dan, although the wind's blowing in right here, these guys are staying on the attack and driving balls out. You know, one of the things, Dero, it, it's psychologically, it always works. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the A's eight and the Yankees one. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one 2 and 0 now here it comes 2 and 0 now he goes the other way and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field but he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down Digging in now for the Yankees, Danny Espinosa, one for two with a triple so far in this one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Count even now at one and one. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. In there, one and two now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. One, two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. The two, two pitch. Swing and there it goes deep to left field. Gone. 
Danny Espinosa has just loved a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury, as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fouled off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And this is cut on and missed by Ellsbury as he becomes at number two.
Now batting. Any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Ronald Torrey is the next to bat, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. Ninth inning coming up from Yankee Stadium. It's now 8 to 2. Here's the German born catcher Bruce Maxwell. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Hard ground ball to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for Oakland, center fielder Ichiro Suzuki. Here's Ichiro now. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to left. And that's going to be a base hit for Ichiro. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush Not tactics. Bad. First pitch fastball middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice sink. Into the box, Coco Sullivan. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Gardner is there. Two gone. Up next next will be the designated hitter, Stephen Piscotti. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is on his horse. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down go the Athletics on a total of four pitches, but no matter, they lead it eight to two. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez, and he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch, and it's fouled away. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. And the changeup is way low that time. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Giancarlo Stanton now. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. 
Last chance for the Yankees. Popped him up. Maxwell over to his right. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Oakland A's get the win on the heels of four home runs. Kendall Graveman earns win number seven on the season, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Athletics. Eight runs on 11.